Hi everyone, welcome to day 10 of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. So let's see the today questions. The today question is to find monthly transactions. So this is the table that we have ID, country, state basically uh, enum type which means it has it has the information about approve or decline and then amount of the transactions and the transactions date. So this is the questions right in SQL query to find for each month and country the number of transactions and their total amount and the number of approved transactions and their total amount. So return the result in this order. So first column we want month, then we want country, then transactions count, then approved count of transactions and total transactions amount and approved total amount of the transactions. So we'll be solving this using simply case and group by functions. So let's go to my PG admin 4 and I'll show you how to solve this. And at the end of this video, I'll be sharing link to these questions and my database to basically solve this. So now we are uh, inside the PG admin 4 and uh, I have already created the table to practice these questions. So the question is the same and this is the output that we need. And let's go ahead and see the table. Select everything from transactions. So this is the table name. So the table has the ID, country, state, which means approve or decline the type of transactions. Then we have the amount of transactions and the transaction state. So let's go ahead and start writing our query. So first we need the month and the country name. We do not have a month column in this table. We can just create a month from this transaction state using, you know, a function called to care. So we will need to create a month column using this transaction state as do not, we do not have month column and the month we need in this format year and then dash month. So we can use to care and the column now which is trans date and we want this month in the format of year year and then month month and we'll name it as month. Then next we need the country. So we already have a country column so then we need total transactions count so entire count of the transaction we can use simply a count functions count of everything and then we name it as trans count and after that we need approved count so out of this total transactions count what is the number of approved transactions count so we can use for this we can use a sum with case functions so case when state state means the transaction type is approved then one else zero and as and as the column name which is approved approved count and then we need the total transactions amount so you can use simply sum and amount and this will return a total transactions amount so we can just name it as trans total amount and then we need total approved transactions amount out of this total transactions amount so we can use again sum with case functions here so case when transactions type which means state is going to be approved then we we want amount else zero and and s approve total amount so then we need from transactions group by one and two so let me explain what this uh, you know sum is going to do and what this sum is going to be going to do so this sum basically what we're saying that case when this transaction type is approved then it will return one and then at the end we will be summing up all those one that's how we will be getting total approved count of the transactions and this query will return the total approved transactions and instead of one this will return the amount and at the end we will be doing a sum of all those amount and that's how we'll find approved total amount of transactions and then we are basically simply grouping by the month and the country that's how we'll be getting our results so let's go ahead and see as of slightly mistakes so transactions 
so now we have got the month name and for that month and the country name and the total count of transactions and the total approved count of transactions and we have got the total amount transactions and we have got total amount of transactions and total approved amount of transaction as asked in the you know questions so that's how we can solve this kind of problems thank you so much for watching the video at the end of the description so i'll be sending a link to this query so that you can practice by yourself have a good day